the white power structure to slow down that uh, struggle for freedom and human dignity uh, uses tricks. A uh, hundred years ago, they could do it with chains. Today, they, they use tricks. And one of the tricks that they've invented is, is this token integration to give the get Negro, so-called Negro leaders to accept the few token crumbs of integration that don't solve any problem for the masses of black people in this country whatsoever, but it does make the hand-picked Negroes uh, be satisfied to slow down the cry of the masses. Reverend Al Sharpton and Hillary Clinton. Despite our best efforts and our highest hopes, America's long struggle with racism is far from finished. And we are seeing that in this election. When the front runner for the Republican nomination was asked in a national television interview to disavow David Duke and other white supremacists supporting his campaign, he played coy. This is the same Donald Trump who led the insidious birther movement to delegitimize President Obama. He has called Mexican immigrants rapists and murderers. He wants to ban all Muslims from entering the United States, and the list goes on. And the mistake that is made by many of our people who uh, are in this so-called civil rights struggle, I have to say so-called civil rights struggle, uh, is they always make a distinction between North and South. You don't find the black man in the South doesn't catch as much hell as the black man in the North. The only difference is the black man in the South know where it, knows where it is, and the black man in the North is being tricked every day by white liberals who grin in his face and pretend to be his friend, but at the same time is practicing segregation just as much as the, as the white man in the South is practicing. Well, that was the 1960s. Sad to say, it is still true today in many respects. Is that correct? You would have thought that after all we have gone through as a country to make sure that people have the right to vote regardless of the color of their skin, that these Republican govern governors would show some mercy and not try to bring us back to Jim Crow days. We're still in the condition that we're in. Our, our leaders are too charitable uh, toward those politicians who have been using flowery words but not coming up with deeds that will uh, be equal to those words. See, I believe that Democrats have a special obligation. If we're going to ask African Americans to vote for us, we cannot take you or your vote for granted. We can't just show up at election time and say the right things and think that's enough. We can't start building relationships a few weeks before a vote. You're only frustrated when you don't get what you expect. And a, and, and a black man is out of his mind after sitting around here listening to these political speeches by politicians for a hundred years. He's out of his mind well, I... if he thinks that he's going to get anything uh, more today than he got a hundred years ago.